Okay, so it says here in the market or something that I haven't really gotten all the gold sculptures or something. Well, let's see. Yeah, if I remember right. Oh yeah, what I also want to try to do for like some of the bonus footage that I want to do for another thing is that I want to try and uh... I want to see if I can, you know how I've been doing like the Navi dive and whatnot? Oh, like when I was trying that bonus footage for like the Navi dive. So what I want to do for my second bonus footage when the time comes is that I actually actually want to try and clip through the door of time anyways. I try out that glitch anyways, see if it will work. Uh, uh, anyways, I got to get the Keaton mask anyways because I got to get that mask of truth thing as soon as possible. Please, loan me the Keaton mask. Hi! Welcome to the Happy Mask Shop. We deal in masks that bring happiness to everyone. How would you like to be a happiness salesman? I'll lend you a mask. You sell the mask and bring the money back here. If you want to read the fine print, take a look at the sign right over there. After you've sold all the masks, you will become happy yourself. Have faith. I do really do like the concept behind this uh, side quest in the first place is that you have to figure out who the mask is going to go to. I really like that. I remember when I was a kid when I was coming around this. I think it's a fantastic quest. You know what's funny is that seeing the happy salesman guy, uh, I actually saw a live stream from uh, Warren uh, recently. Well, like he started up a, he started up a new, uh, let's see, Twitch channel I think it was. Like the other day, so and he's been talking about his thoughts on Majora's Mask for quite a while. I like the title of his video. It's actually called Meh Jor's Mask. I actually found that a pretty funny concept anyways. Oh, this is going to take forever and things in order to get to places, huh? So, alright, hold on. I'm going to skip. Hold on. Okay, so anyways, now we're over at the Keaton Mask guy anyways. Oh, yep, that's right. I gotta wear the mask in order to bring it to him. Okay, so... Uh, this kind of, like, reminds me of Majora's Mask, I remember. Because, like, I remember seeing a mask like this in there. Who, do you think you're in disguise, Mr. Hero? Oh! Is that a key something character mask? I heard he's very popular recently. He's my boy's favorite. That key something mask? If you don't mind... Will you sell it to me? Uh, yeah, this is what I was talking about earlier when I approached this guy, is that if you say no way, check this out. I won't give up. I have plenty of patience. I have to for this job. Ha ha ha. Check this out. Yeah, check that out. Even though that I sent him the letter anyways for Zelda that I'm supposed to save the world, check it out. He blocked me off. Not like that's going to do him any good because there's a shortcut through Lost Woods in order to get into the Death Mountain, but okay. Well, you sell it to me. I just like how upfront and demanding he is. Yes, I will. My boy will be very happy with this. You really are, Mr. Hero. What? <laughs> uh, this guy's got an... I think this guy probably has more personality than a lot of this game's uh, personalities put together. I'm actually enjoying this guy quite a bit. You sold the 10 rupee mask for 15 rupees. You earned a little profit. Let's go to the mask shop and pay back the mask price of 10 rupees. Yeah, indeed. Okay, so I'm going to be freezing it right here. Okay, guys, uh, welcome back anyways. Uh, anyways, uh, well, I've been uh, going around the area a little bit, why don't we do a little bit of Skulltula hunting? So anyways, I managed to get the bugs this time. So, why don't we try and flesh out this little Skulltula right here that's actually hiding in this place right here. Yeah, come on. Oh, I, I catch one of the bugs though, so I can uh, have a... Second return, anyways. Oh, there you go. Flush him out. Bring him out. Come on. I wonder who would figure this out. I am probably guessing one of the Mask of Truth signs would probably tell you about this. I am probably guessing that's the only way you could possibly figure out that these golden sculptures are actually hiding in here. Because they're... I just can't picture it. Because the only way that it would actually tell you about the gold sculptures is if it broke the fourth wall. Oh, I think Dampy's around here, isn't he? I get a little bit of rupees. Let's see if I can dig myself up a piece of heart. What do you guys say? Well, let's go find him. Where is he? He should be around here, especially since I'm a kid. Oh, where is he? Oh, is he like in his place or something? Oh, uh... 
Oh, that's strange. I thought he'd be out by now. Hmm. I thought since it's nighttime, I thought that was when you came out, but I guess not. Hmm. So, uh, anyways, I think there might be a sculpture up on this wall somewhere, I think. Or it might be when I'm an adult, but I don't know. Only one way to find out. So, I think if I remember right, it's somewhere up on this wall right here. If I remember... Yep, there it is. Okay. I found my lucky Skultula. Okay. Come here, you Skultula. Gotcha. Hey, give me that good old Skultula token. Okay, I got it. Got a good old couple of Skultulas. And I seriously thought that Dampy would be here. Mm, okay, I guess not. I don't know when he comes out, but I guess tonight's just not that night. Alright, I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, so anyways, while I'm in the neighborhood, anyways, while I'm coming around this, let's see, I think there's a final golden sculptula up there on that window that's up there for me to take. So, since I have the boomerang now, why don't we say we give it a little fling and get me that little golden sculptula? See, I told you, I'm going to start getting weird and stuff, like Family Guy weird anyways, uh, when I have my insomnia and whatnot, okay? I think that should be the last of it, I think, anyways, uh, as a kid, anyways, in this area. Oh, no. Let's see, is there a patch of soil or anything around here? Oh, I think there's one up on these walls, isn't there? Let's see, I think I already knocked this one down, if I remember right. Yeah, nothing there. But I do remember that, I think, if I remember right, one of these golden sculptures, I think, either has one on these, uh, things right here that Epina can jump over as an adult, or I think there's one, uh, on the in the shed right here in the back like that thing that I'm looking at right now I think it might be either well let's give it a shot let's see is there one in there yep there is there is yes thank you thank you I'm so glad that my memory is serving me well yeah this is gonna be oh I love Ocarina of Time I love this game it's so satisfying And I still haven't found all of them. That is just sad, guys. I have not found all of the golden sculptures in this place yet. Okay, so that means we got to take a more thorough look around here. And if not, then... What the heck? Oh, hello. Oh. I... I never knew this. This was in the back of Lon Lon Ranch this entire time? Wow. Even though I like played this game for like several, several times, I, I guess I underestimated it a little bit. I guess there are still secrets you can still find in this game. Okay, what are you selling? Uh, nah. I can find some bombs in my free time. Thank you. Let's see, what are you selling? Are you selling any upgrades? Just selling anything of importance? Or are you going to sell me snot? No, stecky seeds are like one of the most common items in the Zelda as well. Come on. Somebody sell me something good. Let me guess, you're gonna sell me a decky stick for 15 rupees, aren't you? No, decky nuts for 20 rupees. Hmm, why am I not surprised? Alright, takes care of that. I guess I kind of, uh, it kind of does explain why the hole is so, so open, since uh, it was actually selling that crap anyways. Okay, if I remember right, I think uh, there's this golden sculpture on one of these fence posts right here. Uh, hopefully. Because I'd rather not come back again, anyways, uh, while I'm a kid, anyway, so. Oh, hello. Got a little bird on me. Whatever the, you call those things. That's one thing that I've never been good with Zelda. Is uh, actually remembering the names of anything in this game. Like, all I remember are keys and like-likes, but. <laughs> I had good luck trying to get me to know anything else. Yes, yeah, Nobby. Let's go check out the inside the Temple of Time. How about no? Because Ganondorf's gonna take over the world if I do that. All right, I'm not seeing anything, so I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so anyways, back at the Mad Happy Sales Shop. Anyways, oh great, you sold it. Please pay back ten rupees for the Keaton mask right now. Payment received. Man, you sound like a computer. The skull mask. Yes, I'd like to borrow that. I know exactly who this is going to, anyways. A uh, happy little skull kid who will later want the Majora's Mask that you will someday have. Hmm. 
Okay, uh, I think that's pretty much all that I need to see here, so I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so, anyways, be very, very quiet. I'm hunting Scotchless. <laughs> I'm watching a bit of Looney Tunes tonight. So, anyways, guess what? I got some bugs. And check out what we have right here. Ye Let's throw some bugs onto this. We got a gold to go to left for us to catch. There we go. Now catch one of the bugs. Thank you. Then hopefully I think that's all the gold sculpture lives in the area. But I think I, if I remember right, there's one more that I probably didn't get. Oh, come on. Come on. Yeah, ha 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 ha. Let's see, is that all of them? Here in the Kokiri Forest? Well, I guess it's no. Nope. Yeah, I'm probably guessing that there is one more around. I'm going to go check out the area here for a little bit. So, I will see you here in just one second. Okay, so anyways. I think I'm supposed to be here to deliver a mask to a certain kid, don't I? Okay, so let's give this to you. And talk to you. Hee hee, under that mask, aren't you that Kokiri kid? Yes, I am. Come closer. Ooh, quite an unusual mask you have there. Hee hee, I like it. It may make me look a little bit tougher. Hey, why don't you give it to me? Uh, sure. Yowza, I'm gonna wear this all the time. Oh, I doubt that in a few years. He just gave you 10 rupees for this 20 rupee mask. You lost money on that deal. Go back to the mask shop and pay 20 rupees for the mask. The difference will have to come out of your own pockets. Yeah. Alright, so I will see you here in one bit. Okay, I think that sounds good. So anyways, uh, I just got done with the skull kit and just check out what I just found just right here. I found a little soil spot for me to use in order to get a nice little skull chilla for myself. Alright, come on. One of these lucky bugs. Yes, come on out. Come on, I hound you. There we go. Down. And that takes care of that. Okay, so I'm going to record for a little bit more because uh, I know that there are, is another one of these things in the woods. So I'm going to go check it out here really quick. And I might as well blast open the uh, place to uh, Death Mountain while I'm at it. You know, that there is a way to tell if it's going to head into a uh, back to Kokiri Forest or not because you can see kind of a tint right there. It goes into the place right there. That's what I used as a kid anyways in order to traverse these things when I was younger. I didn't actually use the sound of Sarai's voice actually, Sarai's song actually at all. <laughs> Little fun fact there. Uh, though I have never heard of another Zelda player talk about it, so I'd actually like to know how, in the comments or something, how you guys managed to find that, because I'm actually really curious to find that out, because, as like, as far as, I don't know if some people use Sarai's song, I don't know if some people, like, use the blackness of the logs or something to tell whether it's an open space or not. Oh, I don't know. That's why I'm asking you guys, so let me know about that. I'd really like to know. Oh, another Mask of Truth thing. Oh. Almost makes me want to get it even more. That's, uh, I'm definitely going to get the Mask of Truth thing. Oh, of course. Blue rupees. Why am I not surprised? Nothing done here, anyways. Time to head out of here. Okay, uh, next. Uh, you got the Death Mountain thing right here. Punch will blast this open while I'm at it. Okay. Alright, got a second one here to go for. Alright, and then I'll come back to this later. I know I got some stuff to do here in Death Mountain here in a second. Got rid of all the dead bomb flowers, but that's not what I'm doing. So I'm gonna finish up here with the Lost Woods. It's nighttime, so I do know over in the secret meadow in here, I got some stuff to do anyways. Let's see, I don't think that there's a golden sculpture back here, but I'm not sure, sure. Is there? Nope, there isn't. Okay, that's what I thought anyways. I could have sworn that there was one on a stone wall somewhere, but I guess that's not the one I was thinking about anyways. Okay, so anyways, uh, we gotta go into here, I think. Yeah, that's right. So we got another, oh, got this guy to get rid of. And I don't think this guy's selling anything important. Deck you nuts, uh, no. 
Yeah, that's because I want to reach that soil right behind you, buddy. I got a gold skulltula here to get. Bloop, bloop, come on. Get all bugs. And then swipe a bug. Uh, you know what's funny about this bug making process, if you think about it, is that I swipe only one of the bugs. But every time I happen to... Uh, every time I happen to throw out the bugs, three of them happen to come out. Hmm. And some say that the bunnies like to reproduce. <laughs> okay, so, uh, anyways. Get out of here. Then, uh, I know you guys know about that secret passage in there, right? You see the, where those leaves are coming out of there? Bloop! There, it's around here somewhere. There it is. But those guys aren't going to come up until I have the right mask for it anyways. And I just got rid of my mask, so uh, there's nothing really to show to these guys at all. But I will be back, though. Wait a second, is there like a sculpture up this tree right here? Huh. I guess not. Okay, I thought there would, there would be... There was, that, uh, that, that there was going to be one. I guess not, so next thing we gotta go is to the sacred forest meadow, I think. That's the next thing we gotta do. Of course, don't really care about that. What I really wanna do is just get to this meadow. And I think I'm gonna call it here uh, pretty soon here. Like, I was planning to do like three parts of this. I had something to go off of for a little while, but uh, I'm just starting to get tired now, so. I think I'm gonna book it here in a second. So, anyways, I think if I remember right, that there's a golden sculptula up on uh, up on one of these walls right here, up on the higher level. Uh, I'll get a fairy here in a second. I don't really care about my health. Like uh, I've seen some friends and things, they kind of get protective or something about their health in this game. But probably the reason I'm kind of a, uh, I'm kind of more laid back about it is because Ocarina of Time is rather an easy game and well after playing a lot of hardcore games I don't really care about my health in this game as much as I do with other games just it's a pretty simple game and well I could be taking damage here but there's like fairies and stuff and that's just kind of stuff I consider let's see I don't think there are any golden sculptures up here anyways and of course there's Soraya right there okay as I thought there isn't any golden sculptures up here anyways uh, hi Soraya you know, it's kind of funny, like, you had that long, heartfelt moment with uh, Soraya, and then all of a sudden you meet her, like, about a few minutes later after you meet up with Princess Zelda. Don't you guys kind of find that a little bit funny? She leaves her you with her ocarina. That's kind of cute in things, you know, that she leaves you with her ocarina. That's pretty cool. Okay, so, oh, going through. And then I gotta get fairy from here. Let's see, I wonder if I should tackle uh, Zora's River next. I know that that's nearby. All right, here we go. I got it. Let's see, if I remember right, it doesn't more like one of these underwater uh, lakes or something like take you to Zora's River, if I remember right. But I don't remember one being on the receiving end of... Hmm. Huh. I don't know. Let's see, if I remember right, I think it should be over there somewhere. Or is this when I'm an adult anyways? All in my imagination, I guess? Hmm. The, like, my biggest problem with the Golden Sculptulas at the moment is that I don't remember if they show up as a kid or when they show up as an adult. It's like, I know that there's a pretty major difference between them. I, I guess this one shows up as an adult, I guess. Well, either that or it's pretty hidden in the dark. Yeah, I guess, uh, I guess, I guess the Golden Sculptula appears as an adult, because I definitely remember one being here when I was younger. Like, I think it was, like, somewhere around that wall right there, if I remember right. Huh, okay, I guess not. So what we gotta go for next is, uh, Zora's River. Yeah, I'm probably going to do a little bit of Zora's River, then a little bit of Death Mountain, then I think I'm going to call it quits. Yeah, let's see. So I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to come back in, and then I'm going to start heading into Zora's River. 
So I'm gonna start going downstream anyways. Okay, so going right here, I remember right. Of course, there's the Navi diving things, but I'm not gonna worry about that. Because I got the silver scale. I don't need to worry about it. And I'll get the uh, Death Mountain thing here in a second. I need the Song of Storms in order to activate that green Navi thing anyways. Alright, time to head through, Link. Don't need to worry about the Navi. Oh, it's funny how those green rupees are pointing towards it. <laughs> I don't know why I haven't noticed that before, but I'm noticing it now. <laughs> 